So we have to work with the sort of structure of the of the industry, and you know we are work, we are doing that or beginning that work essentially. And we believe that needs to be built into the chipset. When I buy the chipset, it should sort of come with this capability out of out of the gate, rather than leaving it up to the device manufacturers. There's also an element of this that you saw in the demo we did in the lighting switch, the fact that there there are techniques in the network you can use to isolate the traffic so that it doesn't spill over to other things. I mean, one is segmentation, right? And, it, you know, in networks today, it's not, you know, there's a lot of configuration that it, that's required to segment your network so that my IoT traffic is basically in a tunnel or a lane in the net network that it can't go anywhere else and nothing else can go to it. And then I also don't want it to talk to the Internet. I mean, the way, a lot of the way networks are built today, networks are just big, flat, open. I plug in something to a port, and I have access to the Internet. So there's a step here where we can build the, internet, build the networks differently, where we can isolate these devices so they can do everything they're intended to do, but they don't need to talk to the Internet, or they don't need to be able to talk to anything else on the network. And so that's why, you know, not every device... Even with these standards, we're going to drive those into devices, but not all devices are going to have those. So there's there's a very big role for the network to play in how that network is architected. And that, that what leads us to this issue of why it's got to be automated and simple, because there's going to be you know billions of these devices, and you can't have to put your hands on the network and like configure a switch for every single one to say, allow this, don't allow that. That's what we're going to automate all of that, so that when you just plug in the device, the network gets segmented, and you have a level of security that way. There's a strong, there's a strong tie into information-centric networking in, in terms of the model that we're pursuing here, which is essentially to abstract the network at a higher level from the app developer from layer three and four to five. And by doing that, at moving it up to the data layer um, and a messaging layer, uh, it, it provides a lot more intelligence to the network about what to do with that device or those data flows. And that's not today the case when an app developer writes an app, it's opening pipes between devices on the network, and that is not particularly efficient or good from a security perspective. 